In this video, I'm gonna talk about how learning blockchain development has changed my life and how I think it can change your life too. So if you're new around here, I'm Gregory from Dapp University. On this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain developer. So if that sounds good to you, click the like button down below and click subscribe. All right, so let's talk about this. How has blockchain development changed my life? And how do I think it could change your life too? Well, in summary, it's opened up a world of opportunity for me that would not have existed if I hadn't been in blockchain. At least I don't think it would. And these types of opportunities are out there for other blockchain developers as well. So let me tell you a little bit about like what those opportunities are. Well, when I saw, you know, when I learned about blockchain initially, you know, I first learned about blockchain like a lot of other developers by watching the price of Bitcoin go up like crazy. And I was like, you know, why is this happening? And, you know, I was already a programmer, so I researched the technology and it looked like a massive trend that was taking off. And everything that was going on that was powering Bitcoin, that was powering Ethereum. And I saw this huge opportunity to become a blockchain developer, right? If this trend was taking off, it was moving a lot faster than developers were moving into the space. So I got in the industry and realized there weren't many blockchain developers out there and a lot of people wanted to hire them. And that's really what was creating this opportunity. And because it was such this, you know, open uh, territory, I saw the opportunity to create something like, you know, Dapp University, right? The, the YouTube channel you're watching right now, I saw the opportunity to give out, you know, these free resources for you to learn how to become a blockchain developer because it was really hard to learn when I first learned blockchain. I would like scour the internet for tutorials and there's hardly anything out there. Everything was mostly outdated uh, and wasn't beginner friendly at all. It's right? like one of the reasons I created this. And I also saw the opportunity to become a freelance blockchain developer because there was such a developer shortage. And, you know, you could get some really good freelancing gigs uh, that way. So, you know, all this, like, like I said, truly has changed my life. And, you know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, um, you might notice that I've changed offices here. Um, you know, being in a place like this wouldn't be possible if I hadn't gotten into blockchain development and learned that. Um, and taking advantage of all the opportunity that was there. And that's the idea I really want to drive home is the opportunity that's in blockchain, right? It's, you know, one of the fastest growing industries in tech. It's one of the highest paid. Um, there's so many gold miners out there rushing into the industry uh, trying to leverage the power of the blockchain. And I'll tell you what, you know, in a gold rush, you want to be the person selling the shovels to gold miners. And that's exactly what you're doing as a blockchain developer. You know, basically the demand for blockchain developers is really big and the supply is really small. And when the demand is this big and the supply is that small, well, what does that do? It drives the price of compensation up, right? And I saw a stat the other day that said there's 14 open jobs for every one blockchain developer. And that should give you an idea of what the ratio is of demand to supply. So, you know, that's an idea of what the upside looks like. So how can you take advantage of this, right? Like, I, it's changed my life. How can it change your life too? Well, the first thing that I would say for most people out there who are watching this right now, right? A lot of you are beginners. Either you're a, a programmer already and you want to learn blockchain or, you know, you're just trying to get started at all and you want to learn blockchain as, you know, your first thing. And there's, you know, others out there, but that's where most people kind of fall who are, who are watching these videos. So... Right now is the perfect opportunity to start building your skills while it's still early. That's what's going to help you take advantage of this opportunity the most over the long haul. So right now, like you're already valuable as a developer if you just know something about blockchain. Like you're already going to be more valuable than other developers who are clueless about what it is. I mean, I was in a conversation the other day with a bunch of, you know, really skilled software developers who have years and years and years of experience um, and they were like talking about blockchain and it, they just sounded like they knew nothing about it, right? And, you know, imagine trying to bring a really experienced developer into work something like the blockchain. If they haven't studied it at all, they're just not even really that valuable in that context. So if you just know a little bit about blockchain, like you're going to be way more valuable than somebody like that. Okay, so, but as the industry grows and more developers come in, you're going to have this huge opportunity to be way ahead of them if you start learning now and get good at blockchain. You know, imagine how much more valuable you'll be compared to those other developers once you have all these years of experience, right? As the blockchain becomes more secure, more sophisticated, you'll have a much deeper knowledge of it, especially if you started working with the blockchain at this phase at a more, you know, intimate level before the tools are, you know, super sophisticated and like everything's abstracted away from you. And, you know, also if you're a beginner, uh, I just made a video recently about how to get your first blockchain job and some strategies on how to do that, right? And inside that video, 
You know, I talked about how sometimes it can be hard to get your very first job. Like sometimes that's the hardest position to be in. And I gave you some strategies about how to deal with that. And one of the strategies that, you know, I mentioned is sort of like, well, sometimes you kind of have to just pay your dues and get your foot in the door. Maybe work for a company who works with the blockchain and do something that's not necessarily like right uh, smack in the middle of blockchain and work your way toward that, right? So I just got a comment the other day on my YouTube channel as well. Um, let's see here from DJ Crypto, who said he got hired to work at the Elastos blockchain. Except I, he said, except I got hired to be a front end developer, nothing blockchain related, as I learned. <laughs> so I, I replied to him. You know, I said, you know, great job in getting hired. It'll be much easier to transition into the blockchain specific part of that job uh, with the more experience you have. So bring that background. What I was saying, like. If you see those opportunities now and can work like at a blockchain developer company and maybe you're a you know, front-end developer, it'll be great for you to get your start doing that now, right? While it's still early and then grow your skills to where you can work, you know, maybe full-time on the parts of the stack that you really, really want to work on, right? Now's a really great time for you to do that, especially if you're a beginner. All right, and people ask me all the time, you know, should I learn other programming languages before I start learning blockchain, right? And my opinion on this has actually changed over time, right? Um, at one point, I was like, yeah, maybe go learn some JavaScript or some Python first uh, to get the basic idea of programming. But I've completely changed my view on that over time. My philosophy now, which it really should have been this all along because I think about other programming languages this way, is learn exactly what you want to learn first, right? And then build your knowledge of all these other things around it. All right. And now is a perfect time to do that, especially if you're a square one beginner in blockchain. Right? So what you want to do is basically learn uh, blockchain development. Like if you say so you want to be a smart contract developer, it doesn't matter if you don't know other programming languages. Just start there. Right. Just learn what you need to learn and then learn all the other skills around it. Like maybe you don't know how to build websites. That's OK. But if you have a purpose in mind, it's going to it's going to allow you to pick up the parts of those skills that you need in order to accomplish that purpose. Like, so for example, like maybe you want to build smart contracts. You've never coded before, uh, but you need to eventually learn how to build a website to use the smart contract. Well, build the smart contract first, learn the other languages you need to build the website because you'll pick up those languages faster because you're going to pick up the parts of those languages that are going to help you accomplish your purpose. And you'll have a purpose in mind. So you'll learn faster. It's way, it's way faster than just like saying, I'm going to go learn this. And then I'm going to start learning this. <laughs> I'm going to start learning this. Anyways, I'm going to go for a rant and a tangent on that. But um, all that to say, we're in the early days. And those are ways, if you're a beginner, that you can take advantage of this opportunity. Get in while it's early. Develop your skills. Get really good at them. And that's going to help you capitalize on this opportunity right now and also more later. Okay. So another way to take advantage of this big opportunity in blockchain is to build something no one else has tried to build before or some sort of solution that no one else has done. Before. So why? Well, it's really, it's a lot easier to do this in blockchain than other disciplines, for example. Like sometimes it's kind of really hard to figure out some, you know, business web app that somebody else hasn't built before. A lot of times you're trying to like, you know, build a competitor to somebody else or maybe a mobile app, right? Like you want to build the next hot mobile app? Well, there's tons of them out there and you're probably just going to build one that's really similar to something else. So it's a lot easier to do that in blockchain right now because it's so low competition, right? And also, you know, if you're trying to learn it as a developer, this is going to solidify your learning. So even if like you don't create the next revolutionary uh, product on the blockchain, you're still going to learn a lot in the process, which is going to be valuable for you if, uh, you know, you're trying to learn blockchain. So, you know, you can gain recognition for doing this. Like if you want to get hired as a developer, this is a really great way to, you know, level up your skills and get noticed and, you know, verify that like, yes, I am a blockchain developer before you go apply for jobs. And also like, here's the last thing. If you're not trying to go the job route and let's say you want to start a business or something like that, um, there's a lot of opportunity for you to build something that could potentially get bought by somebody else, right? You get acquired. Um, even simple stuff these days uh, is valuable to other people if it's just working on the blockchain and has people using it already, right? So, um, yeah, that's another way you can take advantage of the opportunity. Here's the last one that I'll say, and then I'll, I'll wrap up the video. Um, there's so much opportunity for you to stand out in blockchain. You know, the demand is high. The supply of blockchain developers is low. So that means it's low competition. And there's a lot of ways for you to just get recognition. So what are some examples? 
Well, you know, you could basically gain recognition by niching down and uh, really focus on a specific aspect of blockchain development and gain reputation at this. You know, you could start, you, know, you could start a blog, you could start a YouTube channel like this, you could, you know, speak at conferences um, and sort of have a, a thing that you talk about a lot. And there's no, there's not much competition for you right now to, to doing something like that, right? Um, so, you know, like I said, creating some sort of online presence is a lot easier for you right now as a blockchain developer compared to other programming fields where it's a lot more crowded, right? And I'm not even saying you have to create something like as big as this YouTube channel is because I mean, it's a lot of work, right, to, to put in all that effort. But you'd be surprised, like a little bit of effort can go a long way, especially if you're consistent. Um, you might be surprised at the kinds of opportunities that could come your way if you did something like that, just got active and got visible in the space. And now is a great time to do that um, as this space continues to grow over time. So that's an overview of you know, how blockchain has changed my life and how I think there's lots of opportunity for it to change your life too. And those are some tips uh, on how you can take advantage of this big opportunity as a blockchain developer. All right, so if y'all like this video, again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, click the like button down below. And if you want to learn more about how to take advantage of this massive opportunity in blockchain, uh, you can join my free training on my website over at dapuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Dap University.